International Sidecar Race, and number one there is Jock Taylor and Bengi Johansson with a most unusual outfit. They've had one day's practice on it. It's the first time it's been raced in public. It's the brand new 500cc machine, long wheelbase with rear engine fitted. And this is the machine that Jock will be racing next Saturday in the Dutch TT when he gets back on the world championship scene. Completely new. Spoke to him this morning. He said, well, we're quite happy with it, but it's 500cc compared to the 700ccs of most of the other machines. But it'll be very interesting to see uh, if this 500 new Grand Prix machine can perform here for Jock and for Benga. They're quite happy, last minute adjustments, everyone cleared away. And outfit number six, Dennis and Julia Bingham. Julia, one of the few lady competitors in sidecars now, and in fact the only lady ever to have lapped the TT course in the Isle of Man at over 100 miles an hour when they finished second in the sidecar TT only last week. So an interesting field indeed, but all eyes on Jock Taylor. Look at the length of that machine as he pushes it away. Completely different, 500cc. We've got 10 laps to go, and they're jockeying for position as they come down towards Redgate for the first time. And it's number two, Steve Abbott and Sean Smith take an early lead. Jock and Wenger in the middle of the field as they sweep around Redgate for the first time. The green flag indicating to the riders that the course is clear around Hollywood and Craner Curves, down through the swervery of Donington. You see Sean Smith really leaning out of that outfit, clamoring over the back of it now as they go round the old hairpin for the first time. And number 13 is in second place. That's Mick Barton and Nick Cutmore with a 750 Yamaha under Starkey's Bridge. And Jock Taylor well down the field for him. Remember, the first time this machine has been raced, and uh, we'll see what he can do. But this is the dice at the moment. Number 11 in third place, Derek Bailey and Bob Bryson and Jock Taylor lying in about sixth or seventh position at the moment as they sweep round Copper's Corner for the first time. Mick Barton and Nick Gutmore, number 13 in second place. ACU Sidecar Championship last year, they finished in sixth place. But there's a dice here now for second spot. And breaking here for the chicane. Safely through. Across the line to complete lap number one and the leader, number two, 13 and 11 in that order, two Steve Abbott, 13 McBarton, and number 11 is Derek Bailey and Bob Bryson. That's the third place man, Derek Bailey, number 11, ACU sidecar champion last year and runner up in the other motorcycle weekly sidecar championship. He was in second place. Number 18, Barry Brindley and Chris Jones are in fourth place. Under Starkey's Bridge, lap two of this 10-lap race. Phil Reed, what do you think of uh, Jock's chances in this? A completely experimental machine, it's uh, something difficult, isn't it? No, well, Peter, you can see uh, this is his first uh, try with it, and he's uh, a bit uh, well down the field now, probably in about eighth or ninth place, but uh, this... Uh, Obviously, it's a, it's a revolutionary machine with a rider, as you said, sitting in front of the uh, engine, which makes it extremely long. You almost need a, a long load sticker on the back, but uh, ideal, more ideal for the longer Grand Prix circuit. So, lap two, and that's number two, still leading, Steve Abbott and Sean Smith. With the chicane, lap two on the Han Yam racing outfit. Number 13, still in second place, Mick Barton and Nick Cutmore with a 750 Yamaha. And Jock Taylor, 7th or 8th position. The unusual machine, as you can see, just see the length of it as Benga with that traditional right leg out. Around safely, Redgate, Benga still holds on there. Around the Redgate, down to Hollywood and Crater Curves. And you can see that Benga's got quite a problem holding that down. Around the old hairpin, 500cc Yamaha engine compared to the 700cc engines of the other machines. Jock is in ninth position at the moment. A very unusual looking machine, but I know he's been uh, wanting to experiment with one of these types of machines for the Grand Prix racing. He's up to Coppice, number five closing on him, number five brought to Nottingham. Pressure on Jock Taylor there. Around Coppice and back with the leaders now, and it's number two, Steve Abbott and Sean Smith with a 700 Yamaha. 
still in second place. 13, Mick Barton and Mick Cutmore, 750 Yamaha. The leaders swerve around the park chicane. Sean Smith hanging out of that outfit, then touched right down behind the fairing. And spreading out, and Jock Taylor's got a lot of traffic between him and the leader if he's going to make any impression in this particular race. Second place man, still 13, Mick Barton and Mick Cutmore. Around the red gate, the continuation almost an ever ending right hander before down through Hollywood and Craner Curves. That's the first, second, and third with quite a gaggle in as they stream around. But this is the second place man, still number 13. Not superstitious, Mick Barton rides number 13 like Chris Guy does as a matter of interest in the solo races. And incidentally, we're very pleased to say that all the riders of the previous race which we saw where they were falling off, none of them have any injuries at all. In fact, Gary Padgett, who was uh, taken away by Angelus, has a cut knee and a cut finger, and he said, I'm off to limber up with a glass of orange juice in the bar, ready for the superbike race. So they're all perfectly safe from that pro-am race. But that's still the second place, number 13, number two still leading, Steve Abbott and Sean Smith, third in the sidecar championship last year and fifth in the ACU sidecar championship. Steve Abbott and Sean Smith, the Hanyang racing team, completing now lap number four. Ten lap race, 13 is still in second place. And number four, the third outfit is Bruce Ford Dunn and Dave Mawson. That's the difference between second and third. Number four, Bruce Ford Dunn and Dave Mawson fourth in the big sidecar championship last season and around red gates hollywood greater curves going through there the sidecar somewhere around about 110 miles an hour in fifth gear before breaking for the old hairpin which they'll be going around there in somewhere around about 60 miles an hour virtually drifting the machine around on the starting bridge the wheel just slips there and that's the idea the passenger hanging out with three wheels firmly on the tarmac Ron McLean's number two, Steve Abbott and Sean Smith just increasing their lead. This is the battle now for second place. Mick Bart and Nick Cutmore in outfit number 13. Number four, that is Bruce Fordham and Dave Morrison. That's the first three and the retirement there. A machine pulled off the circuit and uh, 1.7 seconds the lead for number two over number 13 and 1.2 seconds between second and third. This is half distance, five laps completed. And Phil, at the moment, it looks like Steve Abbott and Sean Smith with that uh, immaculately prepared Ham Yam team just seems to have it uh, sorted out. Well, they've obviously got the right tires on for the day. I mean, it's very cold uh, and a bit dampish. And so they want really, uh, really soft tires. They seem to be really getting their heads down and doing the corners really neatly without wasting any time. They're getting really deep into the corners before they break. Down the old hairpin then with uh, the acrobatic Sean Smith clambering all over that outfit. Steve Abbott looks over the shoulder. He's got a comfortable lead under Starkey's bridge. And there's the second place man and third. And Jock Taylor still struggling down the field in ninth position. That's the leader on lap six. Second number 13, Cutmore and third, Bruce Ford down. The leader at Coppice. Drifting around there, around about 60 miles an hour and then accelerating up into top gear where they'll reach in perfect conditions about 140 miles an hour just over that little rise in the ground you see the passenger Sean Smith up over the rear wheel as they drift around the first part of the park chicane clambering this side almost hanging off the machine to keep that third wheel firmly in contact with the ground so six laps completed and the uh, first, second, and third, taking about half the length of the finishing straight. That's third, Bruce Ford Dunn and Dave Mawson, 700 Yamaha, started in club racing with Bruce Ford Dunn and suddenly made an impact about 18 months ago in the international scene, and he's uh, one of the up-and-coming promising riders in sidecar racing in the uh, British Isles, and uh, Grand Prix shouldn't be too far away for Bruce Ford Dunn's success in those, I mean, of course. Teamwork you can see is absolutely vital between the rider and the passenger as the wheel just lifts a swerve there from the second place or third place outfit. Number four, Bruce Ford Dunn and Dave Mawson. The leader of Coppers. And 
and uh, number five is certainly moving up through the field very well. Gordon Nottingham, who was chasing Jock Taylor, he's come up into fifth position, but that's the leader. Number two, Abbott and Smith, 700 Yamaha, had a third place in the second leg of the GT of the Ironman last week and uh, got the 100 mile an hour lap for the three wheelers. Lap seven, almost completed. The leaders across the line, starting lap number eight, three to go, and already starting to catch up with one of the back markers. That's the second place outfit, number 13 still, and in third place, number four, Bruce Ford Dunn. And here's the battle now for fourth, fifth, and sixth places. It's the Binghams, followed by number five, Gordon Nottingham. And three battling it out there for fourth place. Dennis and Julia Bingham, outfit number six, just ahead of number five, and that is Gordon Nottingham and Steve Johnson. The husband and wife team, the uh, outfit prepared by Padgett and Batley, under Starkey's Bridge, lap number eight. And the Binghams are making a small impression on the third place outfit. Around McLean's, drifting around there, 60 miles an hour. And a rare old battle indeed there for fourth, fifth and sixth places. Number 18, Barry Brindley and Chris Jones joining in the merriment. Those three battling out for fourth, fifth and sixth places. Dennis and Julie Bingham, the husband and wife team, a very lightweight passenger, but Julia certainly enjoys the sidecar racing, and they're having a lot of success over the past 18 months or so. And Gordon Nothing can make a move on the outside, but uh, Dennis and Julie Bingham have the uh, correct line. There's the battle still. Number 18 just uh, losing ground a little there. Jock Taylor still holding on to his ninth position, but Dennis and Julie Bingham are through, safely past one of the back markers, and the continuation of Redgate then into Hollywood and Craner Curve, swerving down through there, somewhere around about 110 miles an hour. That is the leader, number two, and he is on lap number nine, just one to go after this. Steve Abbott and Sean Smith. Meaning you notice on the outfit of uh, the leader, Steve Abbott, uh, the fairing is well close to the ground, and really. Has some uh, ground effect which helps to suck the outfit down. Obviously, he is taking advantage of this. Is this some aerodynamics being introduced? In line with the Formula One cars, being that uh, enables the, the air to, uh, to actually suck the, the outfit to the ground. Obviously, it has some effect if it's, uh, he goes fast around the corner. And already catching up with another of the back markers, number 29, Charles Greenix and Jim Swanson, and overtaking him at the chicane. The leader now leads by 3.76 seconds. Lap 9, he's completing. Lap 10, he is starting his final lap. And a comfortable lead for these two, Steve Abbott and Sean Smith. Drifting around Redgate Corner in second gear, around about 70 miles an hour. Sean Smith with his acrobatic way over that rear wheel and watch him move quickly now to the other side and almost hang off the machine as he keeps that wheel firmly on the ground. Lap 10, the old hairpin. A comfortable lead, as you can see, there's the first place outfit and there's the second just coming into view. But this is the leader, a comfortable lead from lap one to this lap ten. Up the short straight to Coppers Corner for the tenth and final time. Swerves it around and now accelerates up through the gearbox up the top gear, sixth gear, around about 140 miles an hour. Sean Smith flat on the fairing, the sidecar, which is really just a board with some fairing around it holding the other wheel on. And now into Clark Chicane, tenth and final time. Keep that wheel down, Sean. The chequered flag there. And Steve Abbott and Sean Smith win this 10-lap sidecar. In second place, number 13, that is Mick Barton and Nick Cutmore. And number four just beats Dennis Bingham. Bruce Ford Dunn just holds on to the third place. And there's the winner. Steve Abbott, Sean Smith, the winner. Second, number 13, Mick Barton and Nick Cutmore. And just in third place, Bruce Ford Dunn and Dave Mawson, but only just by half a machine's length from Dennis and Julie Bingham. Jock Taylor finished ninth. <laughs>